Okay, before we get started, I've just got to apologize about the sound quality. I'm filming this video with a GoPro 3 or 4 with a full waterproof housing on, so the quality of the sound isn't very good. And because I'm wearing a full face mask, one of those tri-board easy breathe things, it's what well, it makes me sound like Darth Vader. Come back with the ATX and see what there is really deep on the beach. Let's get back to it.
definitely in there. Nope. Yep. Hey! What is it? Just a one euro, I think. <laughs> it takes some getting, don't it? Got it? That one. That one. <laughs> How crusty is that one? No. Just a crusty coin. That was well found. Okay, that's the end of this video, and I'm not actually going to give you a roundup of the finds, which may sound a little bit stingy, but because I spent an equal time hunting with the ATX and also the Vibrotector 730, I'm going to do a comparison video. I'm going to basically spread out exactly what I found side by side with the ATX and the 730. Five hours hunting each and see what you think. See what you think of that as a comparison. Obviously they were hunting in different areas. The ATX was mostly on the beach and the Vibrotector 730 was mostly in the shallow rocky areas under the sea. But there is a difference and there is a definite winner. Let's just put it that way, a definite winner. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next video.